All right, so this is a review and Tory Lanez album, The New Toronto Free. The artwork is very interesting and it's, it, you know, the art, I'll say it in a minute anyway, but um, basically the artwork is basically, I believe it is of Tory Lanez and he's got a chain on or three or, yeah, three chains and he's holding a child. Um, the, it's like the color of the artwork, well, picture of him and it, the, the baby or the child is holding is in black and white but it's got his back up so this the reason why i can say it reminds me of something it reminds me of um one um the soundtrack to get rich or die trying with um with 50 cent it reminds me of that artwork um and then also sarkozy um let me let me get to it real quick because what's interesting is in one of his album artwork, uh, what album it is? Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, yeah, let me wow, saved a lot of people on this app. And you wonder what app I'm using, it's called Tidal. Go download that right now. Yeah, you know I mean, no long thing. Um, Right, boom, here it is. Yeah, so it reminds me of the artwork for Highest from um, Sarkozy. And um, which I'm going to have to do a review on that very soon anyway, so you'll be able to see it. And if you've already seen it, you'll get what I mean, all right? Um, but the difference is, the difference is, well, there's not really that much of a difference, really. Yeah, there's not really much of a difference. It's interesting. I thought there was a difference. All right. So back to Tory Lanez's album. The New Toronto Free. And I completely forgot where this is now. Well, I know where it is. Hang on. Yeah, so basically there's... 14 tracks, no, my bad, 16. There's Pricey and Spicy, The Coldest um, Playboy, then Stupid Again, then 10 Fox featuring Mansa, then Dope Boy's Diary, then there's Accidents Happen featuring Little TJ, then there's Broke in a Minute, then there's Pain, then there's Adidas, then there's Who Needs Love, then there's Do The Most, then there's Do Me, then there's Letter To My City 2, and then there's Back In Business, then there's DMD, &D, then there's Message For God's Children. Um, so I don't necessarily have a favorite track, but Back, back In Business is one track that definitely stands out to me. Um, um, who Needs Love? Because that's a, I believe that's the lead single. That's probably why that also stands out to me. Um, and yeah, when it comes to artists like Tory Lanez, it's like he can he can flip from singing to rapping. Like before, I never used to really like that particular type of um, style. But if you do it well then you can definitely do it well. Because let's be real here, yeah? It took me years until I realised Miss Elliott can actually sing. Like she, not even just actually sing, she actually sings and she does it well. And I didn't realise she's been doing that from time. And, you know, I had the album from, from a young age and I didn't really clock. Like, all this time I didn't know that was, like, obviously it's her album, but it's like, I didn't really deep that was her. I don't know why. But other than that, I guess because I'm used to her rapping and stuff like that. But it don't. Uh, anyway. But yeah, she can she can sing. She can blow. You know, Missy Elliott can blow. So you know, what? I would like to see Missy Elliott and Tory Lanez do a track. To be honest with you, I, re I reckon that would be a, a like a Tory Lanez fridge and Missy Elliott and Lil Kim. That would be a vibe. Like, would you agree? Leave it out to the comment section below. Tory Lanez featuring Missy Elliott and Lil' Kim. That would be a vibe. 
Would you? Do you agree? Yeah. Yes or no? Leave your answer in the comment section below. But anyway, back to the album. So, as usual, I'll take one track, and if it's in context or out of context, it is what it is. Um, and I'm going to use the use um, pain because when it comes to dating and relationships, guess what tends to happen? Most of the time, and I hate to say it's most of the time. Most of the time, most people go into relationships or go into dating with pain. So what tends to happen is they carry that pain and they start, they start treating or mistreating the person they're dating or in a relationship with in accordance to the pain that they experience and still experience, if that makes any sense, because they haven't really overcome that pain. So they're trying to avoid being getting that pain again or yeah because they put up that barrier when they put that barrier they're they're no longer as open maybe you have you're you've experienced it before you know where you're or you're experiencing it now where you you you're putting up a barrier so you can't be your full complete self in a relationship or in a dating situation whatever the situation is you understand so you can't do that because you can't you can't necessarily like you cannot grow like things will start happening and what's going to happen is you're going to end up receiving the same pain again but on a different scale so the way i look at life sometimes is sometimes we get the same test over and over and over until we pass that test and then go to the next level you understand so that's what you need to do you need to pass that test and the only way for you to pass that test yeah whether you're a man or a woman yeah, you just need to develop yourself, the traits that are naturally within you and understand how dating and relationships actually work. So, for example, if you're a woman watching this, what you need to do is develop yourself as a pure feminine woman. Now, those traits as a pure feminine woman are naturally within you. Yeah. So it's just about developing those traits that are naturally within you. Yeah. And if you're a man watching this, you need to develop yourself as a thoroughbred alpha male. Yeah. You need to forget having this mindset of now trying to drain this MGTOW movement, this men go on their own way, hating women, blah, blah, blah. And then moaning and complaining about women. Like, fuck that shit. Give me fuck that. Like, look. Look, I'm not saying. In fact, I am saying fuck your feelings. You understand? Let me tell you something. You think I ain't been hurt from a woman? Of course I have. You understand? But I moved on. You think I'm moaning or complaining? I move on. Like there's always another woman coming along. And if you develop yourself as a pure firebred alpha male, you're naturally going to go in your own way anyway. And you're not going to be hating a woman. You're going to understand the true nature of a woman. And you will use that to your advantage to get what you need and what you want for your life and your career, whatever the case is. So, what I strongly recommend that you do is you click the link in the description box below where to become a member of the Acabuda Trust. When you do that, you'll get access to online courses such as roles and relationships. That's where you're going to learn how to develop yourself as a thoroughbred alpha male. If you're a man watching this, and if you're a woman watching this, you will learn how to develop yourself as a pure feminine woman. Plus, you learn exactly how dating and relationships actually work, yeah? So if you've got any questions or any topics you'd like for us to discuss, leave that in the comment section below. And what I will do is also, um, in regards to this album, The New Toronto Free by Tory Lanez, I will give this a 9.5 out of 10. Um, and also, the link to the album is in the description box below. So if you've got any questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss, Leave that in the comment section below. But also, let me know what was your favourite track from the album. Alright, so if you've got any questions, like I said, leave that in the comment section below. If you've got, um, I keep repeating myself now. So, yeah, I'm out.